uh, to talk to you. I think it's my like first time uh, ready in talking to you on a live or something like that. But I really appreciate uh, your effort, you know, trying to make yourself available to speak to your people. So, yeah. uh, those people who don't know Sokota, Sokota, can you just introduce yourself a little bit? Let me try to set up this interview on the, on YouTube. I just try to put it on. Who is Sokota? Uh, first off, thank you for, for the interview. I really appreciate it to be here on the platform, you know. I'm a Liberian, a born Liberian from from wherever Liberia and born in Ghanaville, grew up in New Jersey. And today I'm an expert. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of people, you know, there are a lot of stories in Liberia. Oh, there's a Liberian that naturalized in Equatura Guinea. I even heard the story myself, but I think, well, who is this guy that naturalized in Equatura Guinea? Then, one time, like Equatorial Guinea came to play Liberia, but I thought I was a sport journalist, and I went and I saw the game. I said, "Okay, there's a guy that's talking about. It. He plays very well." So, uh, some people would like to know how it all started for you, how you left Liberia, and what motivated you. You know, to say today, I think I need to go on another level and take a new challenge. Oh, uh, first of all, because you know, as you as you know, in Liberia, the situation is not too. Let's say not too good on the land of sports, you know. So to be in a better position, you have to go elsewhere to, to succeed your goal. And by God said, I was able to have the opportunity and I begin to exploit it at, at the highest level. So I had up, uh, first of all, I played for Ironside in New Jersey. And I left Ayansa, I went to Telecom. I played for Telecom. And I had an opportunity to go to St. Anthony. And I went to St. Anthony to play for St. Anthony. From there, I was a little, little bit transferred to Leska. And from Leska, I made a decision to leave the country. Yeah, uh, but many people say, uh, leaving Liberia, did you have like a, some, because some players receive invitation before they leave Liberia, some players will say, I just gonna try my luck, I gonna go, and if I succeed, I succeed. So, did you receive any kind of invitation to leave Liberia, or you just decided to take the race to go out there? Yeah, I said it, I try my luck. <laughs> <laughs> I play Lotto. <laughs> <laughs> I play Lotto, I play Lotto, yeah, I play Lotto, because, uh, you know, it was, it was a little bit difficult, I don't know, uh, I was in a good mood playing on St. Anthony team, it was not bad because the present pre uh, president for the elephant, Mustafa Raji, he's a very good guy, I appreciate it very well, where, what happened between here, I don't, I don't count that, you know, because yeah. he, he understands and he, we talk on that here, myself, we say we have a common ground and we settle it, you know. But I decided to sign for Leska, and with that phone for Leska, uh, <laughs> I, I decided to make my way out because that phone was something like a like, uh, guarantee for me. But at the end, it was, it helped me, boy, or it was something like a resetting level. It couldn't do nothing in terms of, I mean, it means I need to take another step to begin to walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, like, for, 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 uh, because last time when Lampard talked to you, I, I listened to, to your story and that really pushed me. You know, I said, I need, I really need to talk to, to Sokota because his, his story just remind me about my experience in uh, Janane. Yeah. Because when I was coming to Sweden, yeah. I went to uh, uh, this place, or what's it called, this Abuja for the visa, right? And I didn't get a visa. Going back to Liberia, that identical place, Danale, I, I got there and my transportation finished. <laughs> but I had one laptop with me. My last sport laptop I had with me, 
I had to sell it down there in Cochino. At least you had a laptop. Yeah, you know, so when you when you talk about how you walk from Danane to mine, yeah. you know, a lot of people here already want to yeah, get because, that experience and feel you and how, how, you, how you can uh, relate it to them. Yeah, because, you know, it was a little bit difficult when, when I arrived in Danane because I took the chalk, the don't chalk, you know, the guy who said cool, you know, on the chalk, you know. I appeal with someone and I try to enter the chalk to get to the, to the border, to the border of Danane. I enter the another one. I enter the another. I have to go to the bus station to to take the bus to Ma. Yeah, While yeah. going to Ma, I lost everything I had. Ooh. And there was no means. First of all, I lost everything, but I don't even have the money again at the first thing. <laughs> so I decided to walk. Walk from Danane to Ma. Yeah, I decided to walk. Is something uh, a little bit far, a far, yeah. I would start to walk. So when I get a man, you know, man have a team, and yeah. I, try, I try to appeal to the guy to let me the tune with them a little bit. Say, look, oh, man, you don't get me. I don't even have a booze at the first. Say, man, what are you doing? The other guy said, give me like I said, no man, I like it. You know, the problem they don't get time to play with like and they play like it with over there and say that or something, you know. But I say no problem. I try to see. I tried to ride it around one or two days. I, I got money. I took, I took the net bus. I slept on the bus. So when I get to the border, that's where the journey begins. The Mali border now. Yeah, that's where the journey begins. Because those guys who are supposed to, they seem to that the children I took from, from, from the border to, from Moret to the border. And they seem to, I wanted to take to, to go. But they got to refuse. They say they cannot help me. Even the net bus, I don't have money, so they cannot help me. So I told my friend back. I get my two, I get Bozzy Leon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro, I, I so begin to walk. From Danane to my walk, and then you, you, you continue the journey from the border into Mali. I walk. Jeez. I walk to so, Mali, Sikasso. There's someone I play called Sikasso in Mali. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I walk. A lot of lot of people will, 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 will be asking uh, on this journey. Do you have any destination or you knew where you was going? Like you said, this, I want to get to Mali or I want to get to to Niger. What was your first destination that you were targeting on this journey? My destination to go to Mali, but I don't even know. I don't even know boy in Mali. Like what's the? <laughs> I'm not the only in Mali. I don't know nobody in Mali, but I decided to take the journey because. My heart leave me to go to that destination, and I decided to go there. Yeah. I decided to go there because my heart was just no go Mali because I had to, I, I could have go Ghana, where we have more Liberian, you know, or I could have go Abidjan, where we have more Liberian, but I said, no, I will go Mali because my heart was just no go Mali, go Mali, go Mali. So, and when I, I entered Bamako, sitting there, one, one thirty in the night because I was helpless, bro. I was helpless. So when I entered Bamako, you know, for me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hustler. I, the first thing I have for, for the market, the market I have for friends. Yeah. I went straight to the market. When I, when, when I reached in the market, I reached in the night. I took some cartoon on the dumper, you know, the, I took some cartoon on the dumper, and I went and put it on the table. You know, I take the cartoon on the table. I party where I, I, I wore my fat or six t shirt and I wore my, 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 my list. My, I had to have the same jacket, I think I put the same jacket on me for the cool now. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I slept the whole, the whole night. You know, I've been in the morning when the put when the put arriving in the market, they put something sleeping under the table. <laughs> you know, God can do some things. The sea got a so many people on the tour that the sea got a thing to start marrying. Wow. Yeah. Because that tell I went to, and that tell I was sleeping on, I want to support her for start marrying. Okay. Yeah. So they got this out of. You can't love me. You can't wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I said, but now you know the sea. I need to see you. You're speaking for the man. You know what you're talking about. I said, I know the sea. I'm not sleeping here for a suit. 
He look at me for long. He saw my bed, my head. No one even bought a checker for me. He bought a checker for me, brother. Okay. I check it. Yeah, I did a check it. And it's something that like everyone in Malay, around the same market where they get the, the couple of the 18 that was on La Brune Gardens, all good at the city and so, you know, our brother and our, our BM and, you know, and then everyone. I'm going to forget about 18. I went to the 18, my man, I saw some guy, what did they describe him? And man, I'm jumping that part in my beginning. I'm gonna ask you, man, I'm gonna open the minute. You know, you know the man of course is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow the team. I was, was. Yeah, so I went over the minute. I went out. As I, I, I went to the money. I took my bag. I went. I, I, I was just walking around. You just know what I was doing at first thing. I was just walking around. I hold my foot. Hold there. Walking around. Walking around. Walking around. Half of the stadium. So I went to the stadium. I saw some guy in Paris. This team that they think coming to kill me on Mother City. Okay. Yeah, so I went to the team. I want to I want to go to Paris, you know, Paris, so I sat down when I talked to the guy. I said, my man, I want to try and play with him. You think that every team here, you can say you want to play well? I tell you, I don't know. To say, my man. So there was one guy and one guy in. The guy said, you can play? I said, yeah, I can play. They know I have two boots, they make me a boost. Okay. They make me one, one pair of boots, I hold a boot, I enter the field, I start playing the man. I was a little bit nervous now, you know, all the kind of thing, you go new thing, I know they may not prepare for the game, you get the game. They had game against you, you know, they come Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they go back. Okay. So, I part of the guy and the coach, you're a little bit interested, he said, no, but they make good. Cooking to me, told me, he said, My man, you're a very good player, but the problem will get when I get played, will keep you. That's the problem. We don't get played for you to stay. So, when you stay, the same guy that gave me a boot, the same guy that said, My man, you will go with us. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, that, 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 they, they were on Friday, they played Saturday, and Sunday morning they were going back. So, I know how to to stay again, how to go back to the market, to sleep on the market table with you. I'm sitting here now. Me, I will. I will be able to go around eleven or twelve o'clock in there. I jump my bed. I be sleeping. You want to get time? I'm not get time. Nobody said, but what concern me? You want to keep me? Keep me up. I know that being up. So, uh, so good time. In this entire struggle, now you from you from uh, Tanzania, you in Mar, now you in Bamako, Mali. You you met a team. You stay on the market for. You still believe in that talent it, because I, I can see the whole picture is is for the one thing you you were depending on was your talent. My man, I, I, you know, really it was something like uh, I decide. What I decide to do is I decide and I'll focus because I don't I don't depend on nothing. I'm only, only my layer depending on. So my focus was I must succeed. I don't care what happened, I must succeed. That was my aim. And I knew I was going to succeed. I, I, I knew it because I was willing. My man, anything you do, so you're willing to do it. You understand? So you focus, your mind there, you think you do this thing, you do it. Because if you don't want to do it, you're not doing it. But so you're willing to volunteer. You get, you get, I mean, who we'll made him up? You have to make yourself. I want to tell all the, those who want to play today, they get opportunities to so make the use of all the opportunities. We don't have, we don't have any kind of opportunity before. Yeah, it was, it was not there. That, yeah. I, I, I gave you one example for me. When yeah. I left from Liberia to go to Nigeria for visa to come to Europe, I went with all tickets so good time. I never, nobody promised me that I would buy it. Well, 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 the person gets a ticket, they don't even get it at first thing. So I had, so this, I had to go with the guy there. <clears throat> the guy said, I'm going to come Sunday morning. As you go to the stadium ceremony, they'll be leaving. So I went with the guy in, in Kai, you probably Kai near Senegal, the border near Senegal. So I went to Kai, I went with the team. I played for the team. I played for the team the whole first round. And the last game, the first round was against Juriba. Okay. Yeah. And again, Juriba is supposed to be a 3 0 to qualify to go for. Champions League. So they signed you to the Malian top flight straight. 
Yeah, I, I, I went. I went with the club. I went with the club. I played for them for only half season because they they, they signed me, and I went with them. I played for half season. So within that range, within that range, I had to play for them. I saw them whole season, but I not play those. I saw them. I played for them half season because the game was the spirit that the game where God made everything possible. My whole door open ready. So we had to play against Juriba. Okay. So again, against Juriba, we are arriving in the city. We arrived, they see Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We saw the plus Sunday, too, around Friday. So I went to that scene that I saw in the market. That scene market, yeah. I, went, I, I went to speak to him. I told him, thank you. I said, thank you for what you did for me. Now, at least I have an opportunity that I will carry. I, I, I will see the, they call it the Sigi de Kai. I will see it. But today, tomorrow, I mean, on Sunday, I will be playing against Juriba. My man. That guy one was on the man. I know he told the man for the market. Man, 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 I want to support for me on the field, man. Man, start checking for me. <laughs> when I see that boy, my man, holding me, my man, you know how zero, my whole blood start boiling, my man. I don't love him. That game wow. out of the middle of the match, hmm. out of the middle of the match, and I score one goal to head up. And that game we beat Juriba. We beat Juriba one zero, but Juriba was still qualified because start Madden lost again, so Juriba was still qualified. I seen that to the hotel. Juba president came for me to the hotel. The message I'm going back. I have to stay in Bamako. Wow. I may the next day, day what if you end up it, man? The next day I sang for Juba Street. Woo! Yeah, I sang for Juba. Within a reach, when I sang for Juba, we're supposed to play. Okay, we, we play one team for Gabon, FC Sansil, FC 105 from Gabon. We play FC 105 from Gabon, we beat them 2 0. That game, we, we beat them 2 0 in, in, in Gabon. In Mali, we beat them 1 0. I scored another head up again, 1 0. Hmm. That it, the next game we're supposed to play, we're supposed to play against the team from Gambia. Waddington from Gambia. Yeah, Waddington. Yeah. So that game, the match, okay, yeah, we, we, we finished up. Okay, that's the whole game. We play whole game with Waddington. We, 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 we beat them. One zero. We go in the home. Okay, we play them one zero. We pin a ring. That how the coach comes to me from from Equatorial Guinea. He talked to me. So I can say, let him wait after my champion league game. We see because you are there for almost one more starting players, you know. Okay. To take to Equatorial Guinea now. For for you want to play for for the scene or another team qualify with with for champion league. So the last game I played for Juriba, it was again. What is that from Gambia? And the game was the match commission was exactly what's for that game. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. It was exactly what's there. And I see that I was using Labrian Passport. Wow. So when we went for, for Lalot, then she asked, she said, Oh, I see one passport here, but I see one Labrian Passport. Who the Labrian here? I said, I'm mean, a Labrian. He said, Oh, okay. After the gives you some piece, you were impressed with me. So he said, okay, I will, I will try to see if I'm if I am presenting to the fellow agent for the gives you an opportunity to work, you know, to show yourself a national thing, you know. Eh? So I said, okay. I mean, I don't care about this, you go to pay her all. So she went by Liberia, he never heard from the FA no more. Nothing. I hear nothing from nobody. And when I with in that same reach, that coach came from Equatorial Guinea to carry. Me and one other guy calling Jack 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 Shura from Lokita. They call him Pele, Jack Shura. Uh, maybe I already know him. It's a left footer, yeah. He and myself, the coach took the, the coach care of Equatorial Guinea. When I arrived to Equatorial Guinea, I played two two league games. The third league game who play against the best team for Equatorial Guinea. That game I scored another hell of a game with one free kick, two goals I scored. That Jack had a coach. The, that, that, that our Brazilian coach, they made they my game and normal. I, I told my they made my money came on. That scene there, they made coming to the hotel. They said I should go to the hotel. I want to remain hotel. They made I want to. Uh, but next month we should go Brazil for 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 four months. So I want to naturalize certain player on the national team. Are you willing to naturalize yourself? Wow. No, so slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> you gotta, they, they, they are telling us story again with a serial power. Yeah, because you play in a team, a game in, you 
come to play a game in Bamako and a coach, a team in Bamako see you, you sign yeah. the next game. Then another coach comes from uh, Equatorial Guinea to scout player. To Cameroon scout player, coach. Scout player, coach see you, take you to Equatorial yeah. Guinea. After two games, you get approached to get natural last. So yeah. at that moment, you know, when, when they told you, when, when that coach approached you for natural last in for Equatorial Guinea, what was going through your mind? Uh, my mom, you know, really to tell you the truth, I had a mindset already. Because after that what is that game, since that uh, I think it was still almost six to seven months, I know you're nothing from the national team. I said, okay, my man, this, this, this is opportunity. Let me just make you so that I don't know what happened. And within that same time, they gave me an opportunity. I said, okay, I will take it. Let me take it because I know maybe my destiny. Let me take it. And I just what I did. I don't hesitate. I told the coach, yes, I agree. Within three weeks, in three weeks, I was in Brazil. Three weeks. So, so it's just about your story, it's just about uh, believing in yourself and taking the risks. Yeah. Because when I you decide. step on a, on a market, you know, yeah. if you tell somebody today, I step no. on the market table in, in Malay for one year, two years later on, I'm staying with the arm bear or playing number five or Equatorial Guinea, it will be looking like a magic, you know? No, but, but if it's something that you decide to do, you decide to do it because you want to do it. I just told you, if you want to do something, do it. Don't hesitate. You know, like today, what we're doing, it don't take time to get results. It's, it, it takes short time. But before now, it will take time. I even wanted to give up. There was certain time I wanted to give up. But when I look back, I say, ah, no. Come a bad place. Let me go. I will reach. Let me go. You know, so when I when, when I arrived, when I arrived in Equatorial Guinea, we went to Brazil. I was in Brazil for for, for four months. The fifth, they want to begin five months. Another and the team that was staying in the Finicola Cruz, the team Cruzeiro, that was academy, you know. Uh -huh. You know Ramirez from Chelsea? Yeah, yeah, from Chelsea. Who played together? Ooh. That time in Cruzeiro. So I used to go to the second team, I used to tune the second team because the, the coach, the, the, the coach let me because I used to keep free kick. He said, let me do my, the men, that let me even improve my, my, my free kick, my head up. Major give me by I, I take long pass, ten long pass, left for left for long pass, left, left. Every day in the morning, every morning, I used to do that thing. So the guy told me, the guy said, You're a very good player. Keep keep struggling, don't, don't give up. So my coach, the Brazilian coach, he made me to, to, to stay with the team while my, my team, the national team training, and I even play against them, but I still with the. <laughs> <We're two. laughs> <laughs> we you know the team, but we play against the national team. I'm telling you, my man, it was it was two, 2005. It was two. I was one of my best, my best level in my career, you know. And I play with the team. I even play friend and match with them. Oh, yeah, I even play friend and match with them. And it was nice. I enjoyed myself. And when we were arriving Guinea, we were arriving 2006. We were arriving Guinea. We we're arriving in 2000 to play the CMAC, you know, like the West Africa, they have Central African tournament. And yeah. we play again, we play at Central African tournament, we won the final against Cameroon. Right after the final against Cameroon, a Spanish coach on the field, he decided for me to come to Spain. So I traveled with the coach to Spain. When I arrived in Spain, the team, the team said, okay, the, the, the way the situation looking now, you, you you came a little bit late, so you will train off for one month and you will go back. So the next thing you will come back. So I will train with the team. The draw came up in 2017. I will train with the team. I will, I will, I will play training. I will train with the team. But that's how I hear him. I will live in the game. I will hear him. So the draw came up for Labrua and Equatorial Guinea game. Okay, Labrua to face in Equatorial Guinea. 2007. 
completely. You know, the look kind of movement, you know, this guy, he just he, in Liberia, he's one of the talented central by Liberia. He left, he went on the hustle, he gone to Equatorial Guinea, and then you get this picture, you got to face it. Liberia, wow, that movement, you know, because that is a very, very, very tough movement for you when it just hits you. Boom, I got to go face him, and I'll be, how, how was it? Au fil d'un moment, après, après le haut, après le national team, après mon 6 to 7, 8 games pour le national team, mais il était junior level, you know. Il était juste au junior level, non, non, le senior team. So, in 2007, it was my first game on the senior national team. Okay. And which against Liberia? <laughs> yeah. How was it like? How was that feeling? You know, how is it like? I told you, I think in the interview last time I said it, it was something like dream, you know, but I was feeling a little bit, you know, go bon catch me really, I'm not like, go bon catch my skin, I was feeling a little bit, so I said, yeah. <laughs> my first game on national team, I faced the people, and they were, within the moon, they were criticizing, they were criticizing in a, in a, in a team, you know, it's, ah, they mean, they may want to play number five, but you play against the country, you know, he are all dressing. And what I was saying, yeah, you know, a lot of people be down. Yeah, that's the case. The other one be honest with the team. You know, the coach, the coach trusts me, so he, he, he knew I want to do a job good. So you're not even worried about that. Because there were so many emphases talking about that. Oh, my man, I'll put him in again. Let him wait for the next game to put in again. The coach said, no, no, I'll put him. I'm making the kind of things. So I will put him there. So, on enter the field, my man, when we play Labour National, then Kobo won't catch me. I was feeling a little bit, wow. Yeah, emotion. Let us be yeah. step in. I was a little bit, I was feeling emotional, but it was nice, man. I enjoy it. I feel very nice. In I enjoy myself that day. I enjoy myself. Yeah. So, in, in total, how many games have you played for Equatorial Guinea Senior National Team? I played 20. 20, 20 29, 29 games. Man, for all of the market table in Mali, gone on to Equatorial Guinea, 29 games. Somebody listening to... 29 games. 29 games out of the, 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 the 29 games is FIFA level, you know, on the, on the record was there. But we all the level, maybe more than that, even 20 games, all those stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so... Somebody listening to Sogota today will say, I got a talent. I want to take the same risks. You, you think it's advisable for somebody to, to, to take the same risks you took uh, that got you where you are today? Why not? It's possible. There's nothing impossible. But if you want to take that risk, you have to be determined. You don't have to be hesitating that you yeah, if I know I will this, maybe I will not. No, 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 no. If you believe in yourself, if you know you can do it, you can make it. There's nothing impossible. There's so nothing the, impossible. The most important thing is believing. You have to believe in yourself. Believe I can do this. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. Because we are living in this world today. There's no one know tomorrow. I cannot estimate it. I, I, I cannot determine your future. You cannot determine mine. So we don't know what tomorrow may bring you. So I cannot tell anybody, say, no, don't do this, don't do that, no, no. I will always encourage people. And what I'm doing now is something that's promoting you, youth players, you know? Because for me, that was a lack of from, from my childhood time. <clears throat> we, have a, we have a big players who, this, who have the opportunity to help us. But they're not willing because what the opinion of their personal interest. It's necessarily a personal interest, but maybe I just got a player here 2018, when we were coming here to Spain, when we were coming here to Spain, I saw him playing, I know I can do it. And I decided to bring him. He had to play in Madrid, at least trying to come out. The young player, young talented player, I mean, after two, three, four years, maybe he will explode. The opportunity I will give him. I have clubs to pour in. So for me, I don't, I don't pick and choose. So long as you are willing, and the door is open for other youth. So if you want to contact me, you contact me. I will help everybody. So, long. bro, if you get continue now, you, 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 you get put playing there. I will bring everybody. I won't love it. 
<laughs> you made me, you made me the thing when the guy out bringing me the sweetie. He said, "Listen, it comes for me to save my passport for you. I will save my passport." Of course, because I mean today, today there's there are so many players. There are so many players now. There are so many talented players. But what they lack is opportunity. That's why. Opportunity is the the solution. We have so many youth in Labo who can play, who can play. You understand? They are there. They are waiting. They, they are waiting to play, but they don't. They, they don't get the opportunity to go out. That's the problem we have now. They don't because they don't play. It's because they don't have the opportunity. Like you go grand bass or you go low five. You go all all these places in a in a small in those region. You know they have good good players. Then they they're willing to. They are ego. They want to make. They, don't, they want to make me. They want to make. Problem. They want to make their family proud, but they don't have opportunity. So give you any opportunity, there will be something like, like opening like uh, breading for them and their family also. You know, yeah. this is very so, important. People, uh, some people say, how is it like apart from playing against Liberia? For some people that are not naturalized to be able to represent different country. Uh, how is like, like representing another country in big tournaments that you, you grew up in another country but you came to this country because of your talent now you're captain of I think you was a captain of Equatorial Guinea team right yeah and how um, is it like leading a group of was, people you know that you never grew up with for football put you guys together and uh, you know uh, first of all on a on the national team, we are like something that we have like uh, I will tell you. I don't know the technical team, but I will let you know because not only Guinea national team, all national team have that that spirit, you know. And they have two groups, you know. They have two groups: the local and the professional, you know. So uh, there's a policy in Guinea going today up to today. That policy is changed because the president signed it, so they can never be changed until forever. You know, uh, when I travel to, to Europe, the local players who are there, they are my, they are my group, and we, we, we bend together, you know. <laughs> so it was something like those guys, because Guinea, is, they have two more half cars. I think you can see it. They have mass Spanish or past Spanish Guinea, you know. They are mixed, they are half cars, you know. So... There were certain group from here who play in first division, second division. They are, they are good players also. They are very good guys, you know. But they have that that, that mindset that when, when they go, they should take more than the other players who are in it in the country because they are professional. They come from out, you know. And for me, I'm, I'm that time I'm already in Europe, so I have to make flower. I have to fight for them. I have to fight for them. I said, no, you cannot do that. This is not club. This is national team, my friend. You come to represent the country. You not come to take money if you want. The national team get money show. Guinea is one of the countries that get more uh, percentage to play more than all African countries out there too. Guinea pay very well for for, for my bonus, you know. But they want to take even more than what they get there. So we have to vote, and I decide for the vote. Nah, I'm not a big captain for the national team. Okay. Because, yeah, because those locals, they are with me. And there's a guy who was playing the portable the corona here in Spain called Bodipo. He the junior team coach now. And he wanted to be the captain. So because of that situation, all the players voted against him because they don't accept it. He won't want to take more than why he, 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 he get, then other players pay less. So I said, no, 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 there was no way. So that voting did in Portugal. That on okay. camp. Yeah, we're on camp. So we vote, I won, I won the vote. So for that. Since since that time, I've been 2008 until 2000 before the African Cup. We decided to get a, the captain to Juvenal. He was a, he was one of the veterans of the team because the time was going to be a spy for for him to go on the national team. So we decided to get him a captain band. You understand? For respect, because the time already finished with the national team, he had to leave, and you know, another generation was coming. So that just what happened. But you know. They want to take more than why what they have to say it's not necessary. This was national team. You we are representing the country. What they give you, that's why you take. Yeah, so um, they, they they got some like young Liberians um playing outside Liberia in Sweden, in Denmark, in 
Afri other part of Africa. Um, you think uh, what it takes, what are some of the things they, if they need to do to, to go to the top level? Because you came from, from the rock bottom and now you're at this level. What are some of the difficulties outside of Liberia playing the foreign country that young players should look up for and prepare their mindset to deal with? First of all, uh, a little bit, let's say, now this is, is not something like to say, uh, if you see a club now, if you, a team, if you go into a team now, you get a pass in a situation in Greece. You understand, while in, while in the top league in Greece, in first division for Platanians, a pass in a same situation. So for me, Because all team have, let's say, opposition have two, three players on that position. First of all, all team have two players, one from the junior national team, in case of injury, he can replace on the first team. So each player, each position, they have two players, all teams. So yeah. if you want to be on that level, you have to train. You have to do, you have to do a self-training because for me, that's a day I'm not training, but I will go. I would do my personal training like in the morning. I have my in my house, I have gym, I have something that I can do to put myself in shape. I know a lack of to 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 get that senior ability. Or if I want to do my extra training, I have to go somewhere and let's say in 2000, in 2016, I have a personal coach. Because that time when I, when I left for Egypt, yeah, when I left for Egypt. I saw a master, uh, I mean, MP in Egypt. I was playing Egypt. Yeah. yeah. So I have personal code because when I left the club, when I reached here in Spain, I have to get personal code because I don't want tomorrow if I go in the club, I will lose my form. No. You have to do your extra training, put yourself together because uh, you are going to a club. What you train to the hall is not what you're going to meet. You are going to meet different training. So you have to be prepared. You know? Yeah, you, and you have, about you have yeah, to focus fitness. because. Fitness is one, and then um, what are some of the things apart from fitness? Because now they may go to a club uh, that now that the coach hates you for the coach uh, do not think you are ready to be in the first team, or uh, how to deal with a kind of situation? Because a lot of Liberian players, when you listen, then you always you always hear this: they coach hate me, or they coach hate the player, they coach don't like me. How to no, deal with that situation? No coach hit, I will tell you that you no coach hit anybody because number one, like uh, what happened to me when I came here, my first level I played in Spain in 2006, as I told you, is a swimming professional. And this swimming professional, bro, the football playing African football is, is different, it's yeah, not yeah. the same, it's not the same. So you are, you are living from down, you are coming up on another on level, you know. When I came here, to speak, when I begin to train with the team, I was just kicking people just get a stupid person. Yeah, my man. I was just kicking and this planet beginning the fact. They are very good technique players. They are very technical, you know. So there's a game. I'm supposed to play that game. The coach put me in the band. I go angry. I say the coach hit me. The coach hit me. The coach hit me. Well, you know what he told me? No. You know what the coach told me? He said, sit, I sit near the coach. I sit close to him here. I sit close to him. And he said, look, because there's a guy, there's a guy came from first division. He came to the second division. He said, he said look at this player. Say hi to you. She just posted yeah. said to come up. Say hi to Sokota. Say hey. Okay, go How are you? Go to the upper. Oh. And he said, sit, he said, sit near me. And I said next to him. And I look at this guy. You know what happened? After that game, I played all the 18 games. All. Oh. All the 18 games I played because he said, look at this player. See how he play and, and watch him. That's how I was I, I, I played national football. I was a little bit brutal, you know. You want to play strong, 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 strong. You know, you yeah, see yeah, a yeah. Game, you know, you want to be too much work. So the coach said, calm down. Just look at this player and see what to do. After that, I play all the 18 games. Next. You know, 
There's a coach, they want you to learn something. If they put you on the bench, it's because they, they see your mistake. Just be bold and go to the coach. Don't be proud. Don't be, don't act like you know too much because if you know too much, you don't know more than coach. There's no player, no more than coach. Never. I don't care what happened, the coach will all be right because he's your coach. You understand? So, yeah. I support that level. I play, I begin to graduate. You know, things start changing. And I have myself, I believe in myself. I know my, my level begin to change. Things begin to change in my life. I say, oh. But all oh, I thought the coach would help me because I'm going to do three things and put me in the bench. So I got angry. I called the team manager. I said, no, no, no. So he said, talk to him. I can go. I talk to the coach. The coach said, this is how you sort of do it. Do this, you play all the games. I did it. I play all the games. So it's just about uh, yourself observing yeah. why you're doing wrong, and then you can you can work on it, get better. Get better. Why I'm not even with the LeBron, we, we, we will not accept our mistake. Everything we say, the coach don't let me. Who could not let you? You don't let yourself. I could not let you. Uh, because we had one Liberian player who was playing in Europe, in one of the big clubs in Europe. And yeah. they brought in another Nigerian player. But this Nigerian player is fast, get energy, can press. But this Liberian player was only depending on um, feet work, you know. And this Nigerian player was working off the ball most of the time. So at the end of the day, the, 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 the club, the big, this big club had led this Liberian player to go. And they took on this Nigerian player, so it's just why I'm saying you see what people are doing. You capture. I don't know. I don't know who the Liberian like player is talking. I don't know who the Liberian player is talking about. Maybe I will say maybe I know that Liberian player. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will say no, I know that Liberian player. I don't really want to bring up player names in the. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. No, I understand. I, I know. I'm, I know what you're trying to say. I understand what you're trying to say. I get the point. I get it clear. You know, the problem with it. I will put my sense down. You understand? I will not go out of the shoe. I will have to put my sense in the shoe. You know, for all. We get, we get a power in like Brazil. When you get it, when you get it, they have fun today. You do that. You have to do that all. You wish. Yeah. You don't wish. I'm beginning to do nothing. You get me on the end of the sale hustle in my friend. They got to keep grounding. You gotta keep working, bro. You gotta keep working. Money can never get old. Even the rich, they're looking for money. All my friends, who I get around here, if I treat some guy around here, who, 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 who just want to get up? They are yeah, made on here to get money. But they still need money, my brother. Because you'll get so you old. You'll get old. Your children will come. Your children, children will come. That same money will be rolling. You understand? So, yeah, yeah. Well, for us, when we, when we get small mouth, we have to not reach. Huh? Then we begin to push it up. Uh. We begin to walk. So, so, I'll give you an example. So Let me give you an example. I went to 2018, I went to Mario. When, when I arrived in La I was there easy. You know me, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't, uh, me, I don't club all the things, I don't do it. You know, I don't go out. You know, so someone saw me walking. They call my friend. Of me. <laughs> Is it Andre? Your friend money for me, eh? <laughs> but I use a simple life, like the way the European life so simple, you can wrap it up. Is it a friend money, anywhere. Is it money for me? I don't know what you saw. I saw I know what you want to play to another place. Bro, I will tell you something today. When I go to the I can't certify nobody first of all. I don't go to the board to certify anybody. Yes, continue to see what I'm doing. You understand? Who can copy the app? Yeah. When I go to the board, I don't go to certify anybody. I go to see my family. If I want to go to friends, I go to friends. I want to do this, I do it. Yeah, so, uh, so for that, that uh, as a central defender, right? You are central uh, defender, you're there against a lot of different scrapers in your career. Uh, yeah. And there'll be one young central defender coming up in Liberia, in Equatorial Guinea, or any part of Africa. What, what, what would be uh, some of the tips you can give him as a young central defender coming up to be able to establish himself as a 
renowned central defender that can go out to play national team and play professional football outside his country. <clears throat> First of all, I will just uh, I, will, I will say that because you know now the things are changing. You know the level the level are changing. You know, like before we used so central defender. You want to run around the whole field. You want to pick up or the same run. You run on the side. You run on the side. You want to run from left to right. Yet today is forward position. You play in blocks. Hello, blocks. You have blocks that are built. You have to play in the blocks. You have to play in the box. You have to play in the box. So as a central defender, the first thing to be first touch. First touch. Smart. Keep focus because yeah, all those beginners you see in the pool, who play today, they are very smart. Central defender, they are very smart. They are determined the fast. You can hear your, your speed says all. Oh. Your so speed, defender, you have to be smart, fast. 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 Play, play a role, understand the game, read the game. And read the game. Because you are a leader. Another, a central defender, you are a leader. You the last man, you see everything on the field. Now, even the club I play. I watch the whole game. So even those guys who play with me, some of them play for the just around but they know they, they they know. I control them because I watch, I see. You understand? It's not easy, it's difficult, but you have to be focused. So uh now we get it out of the way that people know what to do, you gotta be confident, read again, fast, be fit. Then other people say, but uh Sokota over the years you've been playing. For. You play for Equatorial Guinea, you play in Spain, you play in Egypt, you play in Greece. You got a vast amount of experience. What what you want to uh, do? What 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 are you thinking of when you when you leave football? Are you going to uh, think about going to coaching, uh, scouting, become an agent? Do you have plans to to build uh, like an academy, or establish any football entity in Liberia? Uh, first of all, I've already I already decided how, and I already start from even. I was playing, I was doing it, you know. While playing, I was doing it. I want to be your agent. I want to be a sport agent, you know. Yeah. Maybe after the one or two years, I will get my lesson. I already on the track. I want the track. That's what I want to do. I want to, okay, I want to help the youth. It's, it's a great business. I want to help the young players because, you know, we have so many talented players in Africa. So for me, I don't mind. Even Liberia, I don't. I will not go one country. I'm going all over Africa. I need good players. I need players who will, who will make me to feel that yes, because I'm not doing it for you today. I'm doing it for my children. You understand? If yeah. I sign another player tomorrow, you can say, "Oh, this player, if father help me, I will do this for him." You understand? So I'm not doing it for me today. I'm not doing it for myself. I do it with my children that are behind me when, it, when if they come out, they will be able to do something for for them. You understand? Yeah. So uh, for me, I'll, I'll be an agent. I already decided to be an agent a long time ago. Even before I, I tried to leave again, I decided to be an agent. So uh, a lot of Liberians have that already listening to your story. How you left Liberia, how you got to Mali, this amazing story because even for me, what I'm even talking to you today, I still, I still feel that I, there are a lot of uh, levels I still need to get to to ready, because I'm ready thing out of Florida. I'm bringing my camera, man. What's the area you live in? <laughs> I'm bringing my camera. I really want to, because this. Yeah, most welcome. Yeah, most welcome, bro. Yeah, it's it's so it's so motivational because coming from the market, going to Equatorial Guinea, being a captain of Equatorial Guinea, coming out of Spain to play. If you want to talk to a young player today uh, in terms of attitude, because you mentioned something that you don't drink, you don't smoke, what, what, how, what can you tell young players that involved into a huge social life? How, how would that affect their game and, and how they can work around it if they really want to go to the next level? You know, for me, <clears throat> everything I always say, uh, I put example because the example I, uh, I don't use it on others, but I use it on myself. You understand? When I was in Greece in 2012, I had a game win. I had a game on Sunday in my 
on my on my list that I get uh, on you know how I have a list uh, what I'm supposed to do, what I'm supposed to do, all this stuff, you know. So there's a page I know I know go through that page. So I went on a beach, you understand? Know I went on a beach, and the beach I went to, it was far from where I'm staying, almost out of the the city. So, you know, as a professional, you don't know who watch you, bro. There are people always there, paparazzi, they are everywhere. Yeah. So that day, they took a picture for me because I was on the beach. I was, with, I was alone. I was with no one. I was alone on the beach, relaxing. But I, I wasn't supposed to be on that beach that day and that time. So when they, when they gave the information, the coach called me on the phone. Immediately, the coach called me on the phone. He sent me the picture. So when I, when I look at the picture, I said, I said, Coach, who gave you the picture? He said, It doesn't matter. But you have 500 euro cut. Ooh, yeah, I cut 500 euro for my for my pay for my paycheck. So it's not something I was doing bad. No, I was just relaxing on the beach. But I was supposed to be on the beach that time because it was on Saturday and Sunday. I'm playing four o'clock, so I'm supposed to be indoor or no, but on not on the beach. You know, it just it just some more discipline. You know, there's a all clubs had the, the, the rules. You have to go by the rules. And when you buy by the rules, you have to face the penalty, you know. That's just what happened. You have to be disciplined, number one. You should know because you, you first of all, put in your mind you are not alone. Even if you are going to the toilet, you're not alone. They have people always watching you, bro. Most especially in Europe. Yeah, in Europe. They have, they have one million hours on you. You have one middle ass on you. The club is big, small club, any kind of club. But people all watch you. So whatever you do, you have to be very careful. Your character, what you do to not lose your job. First of all, you think on your job. Think on your job, you think on your family. And you think where you come from. Now the first thing is you think where I come from. If you always think where you come from, then you'll know what you are doing. That's the most important thing. Just look yes. back. Anything you want to do in life, look back. Where I come from. I come from New Jersey. Yeah. Basel Town. Well, well, in the jacket, when well, I running better, all oh, the people got in. <laughs> That's what you brought tell you, man. That is it. You know, all, yeah. my man, all, all, all those things, it make you strong. You know, yeah. all those, all those little things, you know, it, for, it's, it, it's something that's common, but it's not common, you know. It builds you up. It motivates you. Yeah, because whenever you, you you are going for, you look at your background, you want to do something extra for no one to look and laugh at you. So that's what I'm saying yeah, for me. When I leave people to go set the lab, no one is going to point a finger at me because I will know that I play professional. So I don't want yeah. to, I don't want for someone to tell me, oh, my man, you play football, what you do for yourself? Because you know our story, LeBron's story. We play you do for yourself. And the fuck with that, what you do for yourself? Yeah, when you say, my man, I'm a captain all over a kind of guy. What you do for yourself? My man, I thought we get, you know, we get that thought. We never forget what that's in the But bro, yeah, listen so, to me. And for me, I'm not a politician, but I always get an example. Me, I will not call me, but I've, I've seen it. So I don't, want, I, I don't want to make a mistake. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to, me, my plan is in life is, I'm not going to satisfy anybody. That's all. That's it. I cannot satisfy you. You cannot satisfy me. No. You understand? Because if you yeah. want to satisfy the whole world, bro, you won't you got to. So a uh, lot of lot of lot of lot of lot of young players, they they because I've been following football players for a very long time. Do I love the game, but my ability to play the game that people can say will give money to play, you know, that kind of ability to go already now I gave me to play the game, but I love football. So I can play my league, fourth division, third division. But when you when you want to look at some players today, young player, and want to tell them how I, I will, I will, let me put it this way. How do you set your expectation for the season as a defender or when you go into a, a season or a game do you have the target or set of expectation that I want to be the best player in this game or I want to be the best player in the league? I want to be among the best five defenders. How do you 
work with this kind of expectation when, when it comes to a, a, a league season? Uh, for me, yes. Most especially if I want to play in a league, if I'm going to a league, I observe all the clubs, you know. You got all the clubs have all the center back, they have the best center back in the team. And they have someone who is leading, you know, always. So, as I told you, I will give an example myself. When I went to Oman, when I went to Oman, I played for Ashabab for three seasons. So, and Ashabab, they have players from Morocco, Algeria, big, big players and who from another country, you know, playing in the league, but very strong player in Bahrain, Dubai, Qatar, all the players. Uh, sorry, I remember who played who played in the league. So for me, which was before the African Cup, 2011, and I said, I'm, I'm going to do my best to be the best player in the league for this season in Oman, Asheba. And that season, it, it was one of the best seasons in my career, really. I want to lie to you. Because that time I was, I was too sharp. You know, very, very top form, you know. Uh -huh. And I came, I came the second best defender in the league. I, I take the silver boot in that league. Oh. Yeah, in Oman. And we came second place in the league because we lost again Fanja. We had the same point, but they, they, they take a championship because of goals. So, okay, goals. yeah. Because first of all, we play home. So we're going to beat again. We're going to be the champion, but they take it because of goals. They have more goals, you know, champion for the league. But that was one of my, that was one of my best because on that time, Omar was in the golf cup and they took the golf cup. They were having a very good team. All the players were sharp. They were very good. They beat, they beat Saudi Arabia, they beat uh, Dubai, and they beat um, UAE. They were having a good team that time, you know, Barry all those guys, they beat in Jordan or all, they beat in the golf cup. So, for me, it was, it was a little bit tough. But that time, you know, very good. I was, I was very sharp and I was very determined, so I had to come second place in the league. But for me, I always like to be on top. Yeah, even my team now. Yeah, I'm, 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 that, 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 yeah that. I, I, I let to focus. When I do anything, I let to do my best, you know. Even up to now, I play, I play or, or club, they, they tell you, you don't go, I play for in spin here now, nah, but they don't, they don't have a top club, but I'm stay, I'm, I stay giving. Yeah, I, I always score other one. Yeah, <laughs> I had on the score. I will not score again. Ashley Williams. <laughs> no, I'm in for the job. I'm in for the job. Yes, but um, people, a lot of, lot, a lot of young players, you know, who have not come. They, they, they stay in Africa. They are not outside here to, to really experience firsthand. When you, if you have the chance to talk to a young player coming out in Africa today. Because you talk about you set your focus and your expectations. I want to be the best player. But what in case you, you go in the league and your expectation is be the best defender, but in the league you are not really seeing yourself picking out your form in the first five, six, seven, eight games. You know, what are some of the things you can do to keep that motivation to say, yeah, I know I want to be the best player, but my first four, five games is not ready push me towards that expectation. Uh, what, what are some of the things you do to, to re-boost your morale, your confidence, to keep pushing for that dream? First of all, you go and ask yourself. That's the first thing. When you go home, you ask yourself, why I'm not performing? Number two, there's no one going to tell you what to do. You have to know what to do because if I own a team, as I told you, there, there are two players on each position. If you don't play good, the other the other may play him and not because you're not performing good. You understand? Because yeah, if we are two on position, if I see this guy playing every game, what I have to do? I have to do my self training. I put myself in a good shape and try to door up, door up, keep working, and make the coach to know that I'm here. Because. Football don't lie, bro. Football, there's no cheating in football. That's why you we need to go in, 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 in water, we take dead water, we put on the table, they, they, they drink juju water. <laughs> I tell you. The first thing you say, you saw all kinds of water, you're bare feet in the country. <laughs> yeah, they rub it there. But let me tell you now, look at how many of the world, most of the world, bare feet in the country. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
Let me tell you, let me tell you, you know, I come here, I'll go back there. Let me tell you one story. Most of the on it. I'm on my phone. On my phone. In my dressing room. <laughs> let me tell you now. I own my phone and in my dressing room. What do I give, man? Mm. So that time was Corona, when, when I was doing that, Corona, oh yeah, but we were playing all the, all the, all the, all the, all the stuff. So I own my phone, look at my phone, on my Facebook, and it. When I go to, this one, I saw that, now I saw the guy, one of my team making me, and he said, which country are they at this day, my man? That's it for Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there making fun of my mama. I just the men saw the poor working the boots in the hand with bare feet. Eh? I'm a thing that I don't like. What do you see? I begin here. I think they know from Nigeria. Nigeria they do this. They do this from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, copy come. I do what I say. My mama, Nigeria is doing nothing. Not like what? I see for them. I want to make fun of them. I see my lap on me all day. They make fun of me, my man. I had to laugh. I laughed to him. I said, "My man, I keep on Nigeria, not Nigeria, like Nigeria, Nigeria." Yeah. Where are we coming from? For you to go stand and go do hard training, we go for you want to take blessing. What am I doing wrong? They can wear my money for those things. We money them, my brother. All I do is laugh. Yeah, people still don't understand football science, you know. Ah, laughing and laughing, my brother. Don't think that's my last thing. They will be there. You think for working lot? Working like my brother. So long you train, hey, hey, hey. someone train they will be you. You might go to your dead water put and he put that one up for nothing. All that thing at zero. Oh man, who got a training? You clean how you work. You have to train, focus, discipline. Get no way, yeah. my man. Most of the with the African, what we suffer from, when we come on the side, we begin to make money, then we say, let all change. Then we begin to act up. We don't want to train again. We bluffing. We doing the one. We the tension is discipline. You want to be discipline. I think big. All the one end. Where are you coming from? Yeah, what I think so about you? You got, you got, you got, you got young players coming outside from Liberia. Some of them come to Europe. Some people come to Sweden, Norway, playing around the world, and they earn a little money, right? Maybe you play for one thousand dollars a month. How can you how can you advise young players how to handle money that they're receiving from a salary? And it is important that they live that big life now or they need to save that money and try to think about tomorrow. Why advise the young players that come outside and first time to handle money? Bro, see like a quick quick according to what? Measurement. Now oh. you do yeah, get one thousand and you want a million here. Now the problem we get, when we get one thousand, we have to we not get big money. We begin to do the one to buy, we do the to add the table. You know, my man, when you begin to get, when I want to, when I want to, when I stand for Judo by Mali, you know, you you know what I stand for? I stand for one motor boy. I get you over the motor boy, Ila. I stand for motor boy. I don't, you know what I did? You know what I did? I saw that motor my man at the gear. I saw that. First of all, first of all, our, our, our ticket was our free. Number one, our free. For falling down the motor boy, maybe my, my full half hour, my, my hand will have one. I saw that motor boy, my brother. That money, I, I, I kept that money in my pocket. I begin to use that money smooth more. And what do I pay me? I'll use that money small, 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 small. I'll pitch in it, you know, pitch in. I'll pitch yeah. in it. But when I sound, when, when, when I go scary to Equatorial Guinea, that one I sound for another level, I say, yeah, yeah, at least my brother begin to, you know, anyway. Yeah, he I was like, you get pinch again. Yeah, I'm not, I, I, I'll cut my call according to my measurement, my man. My call according to my measurement, yeah. That I see when I used to go, you know, my man. When I enter spin, because they, when I enter spin, they probably couldn't give me house. I have to pay for the house. My man, that's easy. Man, I have so to pay for the house. You better support yourself in your career, man. Because yeah, I, I pay for the house. They give me the money. 
but they not give me money now. They give me the money when I make the thing. I want to give me the money back. And you know what I'm saying? So I pay for them for three months. I pay for the home. I won't say I pay for them three months. But they were happy. Imagine you last see money for our keeping that money in my pocket and you show. And the plastic that money is the 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 old man. Where you keep money, keep money for them. The plastic that money is when you try to find that money. I put that money on my book. When when you talk about you you pay for a house in 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 Spain. Yeah, I pay my house. Yeah. Two thousand two thousand fifteen, sweetie. We had a like you call it DM Cup. It's like a local community one or FA Cup. Yeah. So we we're going to play a game in a little town and that town they're going to get one bus that go to that place so in the dressing room i try to ask you know a lot of these small teams they don't have private buses you know to carry that so no 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 yeah. two or three other players who who are around with the group of the kids yeah, go, yeah. yeah and then nobody turned up you know so by one o'clock i got on the bus i looked i put it on the uh, the, the, the address on my alpha and i went to the game and they came to the game, to the pitch, and they saw me sitting on the bench on the side waiting. Mm. So the coach asked me, how you got there? I said, well, we got a game today. I asked everybody to bring me and Everybody was dodging me, gave me a different story. So he said, wow, this motivation that brought you to this place, man, you ready to get to termination. And today that guy is like a father to me, you know, he's sweet, like a father to me. Since I left there, I live in five hours away. But that identical story ended up with me. We can ready to talk. So it's always important to support yourself sometime, like how you did it. You there, time to play. And you say, Well, let me pay my rent. You know, at least I got some money for that. Then saving. So the most important thing, young players, you gotta save your money. you all stop spending too much money on alcohol or my man, you have to save your money, my man. You have to save your money. Let the, let the, you, you think yeah, can you my man? I'm putting on a say you have to make put on a stand. You are coming to you. It doesn't mean you come here to you come here where, where the money already saying I'm waiting for you. You gotta work, bro. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for it. It's not easy. There are sit there are so many people in Europe here today. That in Africa, people in Africa are living good level and then in Europe. Yeah, a lot of people are always telling the same yeah. so many guys in Africa are living better than people. In Europe, because like of course. people don't even sleep in their own houses sometimes because you get two, three jobs you need to go to just um, to keep up with the bills, you know. It's not easy, bro. So you have to be just in life, you have to be determined. You have to know what you want. First of all, know what you want. Number one, know what you want. Decide what you, what you want to do. And number three, don't forget where you come from, bro. Yeah. If you forget where you come from. Then you finish because <laughs> tomorrow you go back to the same place. <laughs> how you be? So when you went back to Liberia, uh, how was the reception? How was like people from the FA, big football officials, radio station? Because in some countries, if you uh, a naturalized citizen, you went outside and made a country so proud, representing another nation. When you go home, you have some kind of huge work. Or how was the reception like from sports journalists from the FA and other people in the country, how they receive you? Bro, I first I don't need it from I first I don't I don't number one, I don't need I don't know my exposure for nobody because why I don't need it for them. I wanted to play for Labour, I know what I have opportunity, but where after they want to do for what I don't need it. I don't need that. For me, I don't there's no need of that. Bro. Yeah, because no need that. I don't need uh, it. Your talent would be a huge boost for Liberia. Yeah, I don't need it. But now yeah, Exposure, I have too much exposure. If I go in, I don't go on the street. I can, I can have, I can even have myself to, 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 to be sunny there. I'm going to go to again to be No, when I go to the because I want to be free, but when I go in, I don't have, I don't have space. Ooh. So if I go to the at least I can walk around, I can do what I want to do. But the Guinea is something in my home. They, I get too much respect there. So I don't need, I don't need nothing from what I want. I want to people to I don't have an opportunity. So I don't need for when I go to the FA, my team, you know, I don't need nothing from that. I want all right. When I go like that, I want to see my family, not nothing else. I don't go something or stay to go. If I have time to go play with friends, all the one is necessary, but exposure for I don't need that. So I don't need your, that. 
entire football career from Liberia to Mali to Guinea, to Equatorial Guinea, to Greece, to Omar, uh, Egypt, I'm very happy. Oh, but what, 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 what is that one moment that, that one moment that if you think about it, say if I had this opportunity at this moment, I made a mistake at this moment, I was to make this decision. Why would it, this, my course, my friend would say the wrong decision you ever made in your football career through in the entire career. What are one wrong moment that you think that you could make a better decision, but you didn't make a decision? Uh, what I don't make a good decision, okay, like, like, like uh, leaving from, from Oman to Greece in the first division and going back to the same club, that was my mistake. That I made. Yeah, I made a mistake, but uh, within that same moment, let's say in the same month, I wrote a sample of another place in Saudi Arabia, Arabia. So it was no, it was something that bad about good. Hey, you understand? Yeah. yeah. It was something that mistake because I, I, I saw I left, I left Apollon to go back to Asheba because it needed me. I wasn't supposed to do that, really. I regret on doing that, you know. But later it bring your fruits, you know, it bring it bring your very good fruits out of it. Yeah, so we, we, we saw the bass and what what is this? Uh, like like let like me I get my greatest moment in life. My greatest moment in life is uh, I reflect when I went to Ghana to go my flight to Sweden. The guy from Ethiopia airline told my visa was fake and he took my passport and threw it on the ground. So at that moment the the right decision that I made at that moment, I took my passport and I followed him. Anywhere he tell, I was just right behind him until I went into his office. And then I, I started to follow him on my appointment from the embassy. And then he, he said, oh, this visa, was, this visa is real. But the only reason why I thought this visa was fake, because of your hair. Because <laughs> I <have someone> <laughs> So I ended up sleeping, you know, but that moment, the right decision, I said, that is the greatest decision. I ever you go made. behind. Yes, I, I said, I've waited, man, because my visa has 21 days left. Yeah, but you have to follow him. Yeah. yeah, so I was just behind him. I said, you know, two things, you got to check the visa or we call the embassy tomorrow. So yeah. he, he saw it that the visa was correct and he put me on the next flight I'm leaving. So when people say, so, but that was that greatest moment for you that decision that you made in life that you can never forget about True. my greatest my, 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 my greatest decision where i made my life to natural myself or equal to a guinea <laughs> 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 yeah because you know you you know i've been listening to you and it's it all what i am today there's opportunity. There's opportunity. Make use of it. I made use of all. I made use all of my opportunity, and I'm here today. I, I'm grateful to God. I'm happy. I want to lie to you. I'm happy for the decision. To on that of myself, I will never regret, bro. I want to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> never. Because the scene that you that it really changed your life, and, and of course, so. A million. A million. It changed my life. A million. A thing you are left on medium, on medium, on medium, on medium. Not on half, but on medium. I'm proud to be a librarian, sure. I'm a librarian. And I'll always be a librarian, but naturalizing myself, bro. I want to, it's one of the best decisions for me. I want to, to be friendly. Yeah. It's one of the best decisions for me I made. I will never forget. And I will never regret. Never. I want to, yeah, to, to be friendly with you. Sorry, but I yeah. do. On the, on the pitch, playing on the pitch. Uh, can you remember any kind of like, like a square call or uh, or a midfielder that really, really dare with you that? If bro, you I'm up, back, don't, don't, don't go back to that statement about bringing back. Forget what I think, man. You got for me one of the one of the things I can never forget about in football is one guy I used to play for for Zio, Bob Zio. Yeah, I know Bob Zio. So in Ghana, we were playing in. Uh, and they cross a long ball, you know. So Chris and me, and, you know, I just run into bus here. Like Chris said, man, the woman the ball pass, they may take the ball over me the whole whoa. <laughs> I can never forget what I see, you know. It made me laugh. I made me laugh when I plastic there. <laughs> but 
for you know it's like for me, it, you know, I, I'm yeah, so man, for me, for me, you 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 all know my um, for me, the moment I'll never forget because that day it was something like um I had low on my head, you know, I was doing bare on my head like if it had it, you you can't you, you you can handle the bear, but you know that you you was you yeah, were bare on your head. Like, you feel the weight. Yeah. And again, the goal that you score against me, that one it hit me because I know that I don't regret because I know who he is. You understand? Drop out. Because the goal you score, he used the elbow and pressed me that day, you know? He pressed on me and bought the ball. He, he, my man, that game, I went in the hotel. I don't come out. I don't go down in the restaurant to eat. I have to stay up because I was too tired. Okay. I went all time. I went all time because the coach told me that you, should, you should don't leave me. Go anywhere you go, go with him. So I was something like this, right? I was something like that. That that resistance was there. It was something. It was there. But the time when I was tired, it's something like normal tiredness. Not something that I was fatigued. No, I was I was fit. I was you know good shape. So there's nothing you know, overweight, you know. But I was tired to go down because. I feel that I work all time that yeah, day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is one of my that one of my my heavy low I told in my life. With that guy, bro. That guy is 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 he's a legend, man. He's very yeah, good. Yeah. People ask you as a professional player, those who are not professional yet and one day they may get there or they will like to 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 practice some of the things professional players do. How do you prepare for game? Uh, like, Sokota got a big game tomorrow. You got a league game tomorrow. And today, what are some of the ways you, you wish you can put yourself in a good morale for the game tomorrow? What are some of the things our professional player need to do that we're getting ready for the game? Yeah, well, it's something like uh, number one is some you you have to go. You have to get a good rest. You have to rest good. Number one, number two. Like everyone know what can put them in the game. Like for me, if I have game today, I always let them listen to music. To play. And most especially, I'm, a, I'm an African bro. I love my African music, so that one for yesterday. We always have music in the dressing room, but I have my I have my earpiece or my platinum wrap You know, that earpiece yeah. on my ear. I have beat, so that beat always my ear to put myself in your zone. To put my, but I always have African music. Make myself good. When, not when a coach is speaking, when a coach finishes speaking, you can put your earpiece to listen to your music, to put your saying, why you dressing yourself, you put your saying, good shit, to prepare yourself for the game. And no matter if I, if I get game, I sleep before 12. That's what I always do to make myself to rest good. Yeah, and I wake up very early. I take breakfast. Yeah, that's that's the man. <clears throat> Sokota is a Liberian that plays for Equatorial like, Guinea, captain the team. He's been playing around Europe, Africa. And for me, it's it's like, you know, I've been here, but if I tell you, never tell you, I search one day where new, I've never done that before. But I just been here, Sokota, Lawrence do Sokota. So when you keep us on the page, and I say, oh, this is guy that this everybody been talking for, but I've never read it. Seen a picture. If I tell you I've seen a picture, no. Who that I saw it was ATS. That our smallest school reporter now you know running around ATS. But it's a great story, man. And and a lot of Liberians out here are not playing. Some people are doing other countries, they are not playing. Why 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 can you tell them, you know, other Africans they come to Europe, things start working, you know, sometimes you come to Europe, your people go out or or you come, you don't succeed at the first club. Why can you Tell some Liberian player, a Keturah Guinea player, that house here in Europe, should still trying to make it, but it's still finding it difficult to break through. Mm -hmm. It's true, we are in pand pandemic now, but uh, you have to keep training, bro. The most especially here in Europe, they have so many gyms, you know, they have gyms here, they have so many. And preparation that you can do, you have, you have, you, you have, you have all the facility here. What you need to do is keep working. Don't give up because if I have a dream, but I live my dream, 
and go beyond on other things. You know, I cannot do it because if I want to do this, I do it because I'm willing to do it. You understand? So you cannot give up. You have to keep yeah. training. If you don't have an opportunity today, tomorrow you'll get opportunity. You understand? Like you, 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 yeah. you, you, you go to a club and if club says, oh, my man, we don't need a player. Try another club. You know, but really to tell you the truth today, it, it's very difficult now. It, it's difficult in your sense that in Europe now, ready to play football, it's it difficult because if you look at more, most of the academy in Europe, I see parents taking the children to the field to train. You seen it? You are in Sweden. Yeah, 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 yeah. We see a lot. Mother of taking a song, father taking a song to train the other one. So now, now they, they are more players. They are more players. So the most, the, the shortest way to get to the, the level is to get a better contact. If you get a good contact, someone who will promote you. Because now football is all, all, today, football is a promotion. Who promote you? You go out. Yeah. So the people, the people Recommendation. Really focus on uh, keep fit, keep yourself fit. But the most important thing is contact. Yeah, contact. You don't get contact, my man. You get people. Yeah, contact is zero. You know that like before we, we, we used to be doing our uh, and two thousand three, four. We used to be trying love them, but so you can try love, you will make it. There are possibilities for you to make it, but the, the chance is very slim. You understand? Yeah, it's, very it's very slim because now uh, before there was not too much player, but now today, bro, oh, oh. there are so many. There are so many you know, players, good, good players. They are very good, good players nowadays. Very good because now if you, if you, if you look at Equatorial Guinea now, the league in Equatorial Guinea, we have a very good page. We have all the feet in Guinea, so that's why you see now Guinea is qualified for African Cuban Nation. You know that? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Because and sixty percent of those players they are playing the league. Okay. Because we have a we have a very good domestic league. The domestic league is very good. The fee is good. They, they, they're giving a good salary. All team have the boss. They train on time. And like some of you are getting paid. They're paying every month. And they're getting good salary. So if you see players living from Guinea to come in Spain now, he's coming on a professional contract. You see this? A recommendation. And, 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 you see and the difference? Other players in, in Liberia usually say, to making Europe is easier or if I go to Europe. Because I won't scratch when I came for try it and it was like, oh, it's easy to play in Division One. And I told him, say, listen, no. there are so many people in Europe now with permanent residence. And I was born here. A lot of people migrated to Europe and got African kids talented. So the, the, the market is very, very slim. And very slim. Small right now to, to go through, you know. The market is very slim, it's true, bro. You're not lying, the market is slim now because when I just saw a player last year, last year I saw a player, Brazilian player, in Motown. Okay. And the same year he became the best player in Motown. Wow. But he was here. <laughs> he was playing no league from he Brazil. From Spain. Yeah, yeah, you were playing here on the team with me. You are playing low league. But when I sent him to, to Mota, he make it. And he was the, the MVP for Mota last year. Okay. So it's all about having the contact and changing environment. It's contact and environment, nothing else. Now, I don't have a matter here, I don't have a matter, I don't have everybody talking about, I don't have a matter, I don't have a matter, I don't have a matter in Mota. I'm talking there. Okay. I'm talking to yeah, Mota. I will play, I think, you should play left back or. Well, no I don't know if he left back. Imagine, I don't even know him personally, but someone here introduced me at, 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 at saying to Mota. Now he's playing the ball in, in, in the Martin League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he plays. So it's, it's, it's the most important thing young people would I want to succeed. Yeah. Uh, the question is about hard work. Hard work, contact. Contact, bro. Contact, hard work, and you get a chance and be prepared with the opportunity to come you seize it and bro the and they gave me one minute one minute or one second exploit it that's all yes, yes, exploit yes, that yes, one minute yes. i gave you if you exploit that one minute they gave you finish case close case close so it's all about keeping the faith and and but you you play with a lot of 
You have to okay. believe in yourself. That's the first yeah. thing. You believe in yourself that I can do this. Bro, a chemo tender, let me tell you, a chemo tender, I will, in Greece, I want a national team. 2011, yes, no, 2012, 2013. I want a national team in Guinea. We want to, uh, that Madagascar, we play in um, Madagascar, that's our captain. So, we're after having to call our, our captain. So, that time, I want a national team. And my club played behind me. There's a guy who played. Imagine, he played that game. He scored. <laughs> so, you know, club don't change. They yeah. win it, you don't change, win it. I was starting player, I won a national team. So when I come back, and this guy played, he played well. He performed well. And he doing well. So they cannot change him. They can take him out. I cannot change the guy. That was the problem now. That's the problem. You know what happened? Oh. I get that video I will send to you. You watch it. So when I arrived, they, they see they arrived. So I arrived in the morning because yeah, I leave Guinea on I play Sunday. I take a flight. Yeah, I Tuesday I arrived because Tuesday normally we don't train Tuesday are three days in, in, in Greece for us. We train Monday, Tuesday we rest, and Wednesday we start training. So I arrived Tuesday morning. So that whole day I Normally, my rules in, the, in my contract, if I come from National this day, I don't tell you to train. I tell you the whole day. On Wednesday, I will train. So that same Tuesday, I went to training in the morning. I went to training. Train. After training, my man, they got to get answering. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pray for you. I don't pray for you. I'm prepared for your answering, nothing. I'm prepared for you. I, that, that, yeah, bro, I, you go answering, bro. What happened? I played again. I saw two go ahead of Go to YouTube, you see it. Two, the same gig. Go Platayan, pass Yanena. Two, head up. I saw two. I see. <laughs> I take my position back. <laughs> you have to go with ease, no stress. No, I take my position back, ease. You understand? So it's something like, don't give up, bro. Because first of all, if I go national team, if I come back, I have to wait because they cannot change the player that playing. No, never. Not only my team, any team in the world, they don't change winning team, bro. No, so not the team is winning, you have to keep the team. So you have to keep working until you get opportunity. They give you one minute, yes, but they finish. That's all. So that yeah, but it, it had a very long conversation, and and I can still tell you that the moment this corona go down, you know, I gotta try to pick up my camera to, <laughs> because I need to sit down, you know, you know, and ready to talk, yeah. make because this story, a lot of Liberians still who are looking this this your story could serve as a huge motivation for a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are not ready listening to. The struggle of other people, you know, a lot of, lot, lot of Liberian players out here, they are not willing to share how they came from zero to this top level. Wow. You know, I read it. Bro, there's no problem. To, I think First of all, I'm so used to explaining, you know, I don't. I no, don't know. Mama. bro, it, this is very simple, bro. It's simple. Just know your background at all. Not here, you just, where, where you had a depth. Know your background, know where you come from. Know where you, know where you come from. First of all, know where you come from. Number two, know where you want. And you should know your destination. That's all. Nothing else. What you want to do. And always yeah, get plan. And always you have plan B. Okay. Because after football, what will you do after football? <laughs> That's the problem. You understand? Know you want to play football. Yeah. After football, that, you know? That's what I always tell people. That, I pray to not make a mistake. And, you know, what I always do for players, any player, I, I think, since I came to Europe, since I've been beginning player to Europe, I brought more 14 to 15 players now, since. But Equatorial Guinea more, I brought more players from Equatorial Guinea to Spain than Liberia. But what I always fight for for players, if any time I take players from outside to come here, I fight for a document. Yeah. Because if you are legal, you have document. We don't pray for bad things to happen. We are playing football. In case of football break tomorrow, what will you do? 
In case you get uh, a crucial injury, you cannot play no more. What will you do? You have to work. You have to do something to get some. How will you go see your family? Who, if you want, if you want to go see your family, how will you go see your family? You don't have document. So, my, for me, that's why I say, if I, I order on the track as an agent, if I if, if, if I'm bringing player to you, I always fight for a while. If I put in your club, I thought you have document because the motivation comes from home. So long you can go home, you see your family, you see your mother, you see your family. It will make you more motivated. You can be more motivated to play. You can be happy. Your, your man will be, you, you have mindset because a player, imagine someone like me. I give you an example. For me, me and all of you, how many years I don't see my mother since I left for Liberia? I was struggling. Wow. When I went home, I saw my mother. You know how I felt? I shed tears. But I was emotionally happy. I was happy. Because yeah. almost eight years, I don't see my mom. Imagine. I mean, Do you I'm think if, 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 if I have document, I mean. if I have document, I couldn't go home to see my mom? No. I could have gone home to see my mom. But because I don't have document, because the person who will be not far from my document, I have a document is more important like for me i i told so many players i went in there i went in there i took so many labor people going in there what are you going to do in india because if you go in there you will come out of labor you will go back in there again something that you are doing you come to europe you play in europe you get document you, you get European document you can go see your family you come back you can work you can do anything you want to do they have so many opportunities in europe the Asia, yeah, a lot, a lot of players, a lot of players in, in India, and they did not play in the in the seven the side league. That this is not me. I went in India. I saw that. I saw it. I went in India. I played India. I played Shillong. Yeah, Shillong. What James really played before? Yes, yeah, I played. I played. I, played, I, played yeah. I captain Shillong in 2018. I captain Shillong. Okay. I was captain Shillong. I play. Oh wow. Oh. You understand? <laughs> so. I went there, I saw, I saw so many guys, you know, it's, it, it's good saying about, you know, they are not playing, they are not doing nothing. Well, I should be in your country, I'm not playing, I'm there, I go play. Why well, I go to I go play ball. I begin, I go to West Point, I go play every game. I prefer doing that than to go outside another country. I go, I go play seven or seven game. No, 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 no. That cannot help you because at the end of the day, you have to go back to Africa. Yeah. At the end of the day, I have to go back to Africa oh, and go back to India again. You see that? Yeah. For me, a little bit discouraging. Hey, 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 you be here at the hotel. What is that? Yeah. I have a nick. Take your phone, take your phone. They want to look in on your side. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, brother, we come to Okay. Okay. Hello. 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 Time with you, and I really appreciate your humble spirit, you know, too. Because, I, because in Liberia, you know, I used to be one of the sports guys that were ready to go and stuff, and then a lot of people been hitting me up again for why get a ban of sports reporting, you know. So I decided, okay, let me let me try to get back on track. And you been yeah, you, 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 you have to do it. You can promote so many young Liberians who are willing to come out, you know. Ali, you can yeah, promote actually, the I, brush, I sent people to send a player to Sweden before. Well, in Liberia, he's from the borough of Yubicha. It's called Prince Soma. He now pay one cent. He always will come to the newspaper office and sit down and uh, he got a lot of internet. Been always on it. So he said, but man, they get connection. He should tell me. So I, I found these guys from Norway. So they said, okay, we need a scraper. So they went down and saw him. This is how he came. To Europe, the people that own our trip was Prince Soma, Pashemo, and Martin Kano. But they scout there, Martin, Sh Martin Kano, and Pashemo on their own. But I recommend that Prince, and how Prince came to Europe. But then later on, 
I say, let them say, I follow these people, so they got told me for fame, so they work for me for years, or taking money from me, I'll bring it to Europe. So that's how I came. And I forgot about sports, but I still nah. have to come back you and. Go for the youth, my man. You can have the youth to come on, man. You have more than a year. You, have, you can be a very good help to them to come up, you know? Yeah. For me, I really want to promote. African no not only Labua I tell you in general me I don't I don't pick and choose to say I have to promote only Labua no Africa as a whole the youth I want to promote more more, more youth like uh into that thing one year to have a program that last some this summer I'm supposed to go like now I'm supposed to go to Nigeria to do a scouting but we cannot go because of the COVID the, the COVID something yeah so maybe we're trying to make the program for another time. You know, but I me, mean, I don't pick and choose. I don't need bunch of player, no. I don't need whole bag. Why can't whole bag? I need three, four good players and promote them. I want to make them a good player. That's what I need. You understand? Sure. Yeah. It seems like I can go like, bro, I take player from there. So then you are good, I will take you. But I don't I me, mean, I want I want discipline, discipline player. You can yeah, play, but you're not disciplined, you are zero. You can play, but you're not disciplined. Why you play the football for? Eh? You yeah, can play, but you're not disciplined. You are not a footballer. <laughs> if I bring then, you to a club here, you you make me that the first thing. Yeah, if you are not disciplined, come here because yeah, the play the people play professional football. They can even be a small club, not in a professional league. Bro, football, football not only to play the football, you have to be disciplined. Lesson, you know, you have to be disciplined. You can play the football. When you're not disciplined. You, you are not a good player. You are incomplete. You have to be complete if you want to play football. That's like like most of the club I play today. I take player to the club, then I play for before. Because what? I leave a clean sheet. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to leave from club with bad character. Any club I leave from, I leave a clean sheet. The last time she don't in India, they come for two players. I send two players to them. Because why? They trust me and they believe me. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So repetition. If, if yeah. I, yes, if Sheba, they come for another player, I send player to Sheba. The last time they come for player, I sent you with Oman. Okay, yeah, he one of the guys that have like, been quiet in recent times. But uh, I'm saying, oh man, two weeks. Okay, you understand? Yeah. You know all, all those all those things. Personally, you know, not not something you have to tell people, but you know, and uh, something is forward, bro. But always have clean shoes when you leave people somewhere. Be clean. That tomorrow when you go, you call your phone, you answer you. No, you leave from someone tomorrow, you call your phone, the, the person, no, I want to the call for you, you know, it means that you are, you are not, you don't have plenty, that's the problem, you know, I will be disciplined, yeah, it's, 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 it's very it's, important. It's, it's, it's so great, you know, but um, in in two or three minutes, we, we will be going down, those of you who are just joining us here, Mr. Nathaniel Fuku from uh, Norway, we say welcome, we've been talking to Sokuta, it's called Lauren Doe, he's a Liberian player that got naturalized in Equatorial Guinea, captain in Equatorial Guinea national team, bent the Nations Cup, and he played around Africa and played around Europe, and was just looking at history, how he came from zero to where he is today. And, but in two minutes time, we'll be going out, we'll be calling this uh, a, a, a day, but I must say I'm so honored, man, for you to be the first guy after eight years for me to conduct this kind of interview, you know, I'm so pumped to keep on uh, to get back in sports reporting again, but not writing, sports writing, a lot of work to do, but just conversation. So I really appreciate your effort in 